Welcome to ChronoZoom. ChronoZoom was made by the academic community for the academic community. It is a fully open source project available through the Outer Curve Foundation. All content has been created by students at the University of California at Berkeley in collaboration with research experts from all around the world. 80% of this cloud-based tool was developed by students at Moscow State University with support from Microsoft Research. As ChronoZoom continues to evolve, we hope to involve even more institutions and organizations from around the world. In this video, we will be going on an epic voyage through time, infinitely scalable from the Big Bang to today, exploring all of history through this master timeline of the cosmos, Earth, life, and human experience. In the end, we hope you will discover unexpected relationships and historical convergences that help explain the sweep of big history and the relationship between the humanities and the sciences. First, let's learn how to navigate through ChronoZoom. This is the scale. It starts at 13.7 billion years ago and runs to today. All of history can be broken into eight thresholds. A threshold is a moment in time where the universe has experienced an exponential increase in complexity. Let me show you the first threshold. I will select the origins of the universe. Then I'll select jump to the threshold. In ChronoZoom, we use a museum analogy to create a very intuitive user interface. So now we're at the first threshold, the Big Bang. In this, you'll see it as an exhibit. Exhibits are a collection of multimedia content tied to a specific historical event of interest. Exhibits might include documents, videos, pictures, and other historical data. Each piece of content in an exhibit is called an artifact. In this exhibit, there are 10 artifacts for you to explore. Now, once again, we don't want an information overload, so instead of having lots and lots of content, we have a bibliography. In a bibliography, it not only has the proper attributions for each artifact, but it also includes the best websites, the best publications to help you go deeper in your research. Now, to make navigation easy in ChronoZoom, we have this top right navigation pane that helps you jump to our different regimes. A regime covers a specific period of time. Some regimes are vastly larger than others. For example, humanity covers a small fraction of time covered by the cosmos. We divide the history of everything into five major regimes. Cosmos, Earth, Life, Human Prehistory, and Human History. Each color represents a regime, and you will see that same color represented in the timelines below. The gray line helps you show context so you're never lost in ChronoZoom. So let's jump to humanity. To get there, we must go to a nanopixel of resolution, and we'll be traveling at 2 billion years a second. Here we are, the last 3,000 years of written humanity. Now it begins to look very different to us as we now can visualize the Egyptian, Roman, and modern history all in one viewing pane. We are now in the humanity timeline. A timeline is a specified period of history within a regime. Each timeline can be divided into additional sub-timelines. Different disciplines, such as geology and history, categorize time in different units, and thus some exhibits may show up in more than one timeline. As you explore different exhibits and artifacts, sometimes it's nice to have someone guide you through what you're looking at. We call this a tour. In the top left-hand corner, we have two icons. The first is a tour. Let's view a tour. Select the tour, and let's select Japanese internment. You can select narration on or off. Let's start with narration on. Now you'll hear Cicely talk about Japanese internment, and she will step us through the important artifacts and exhibits in this timeline. Hello, my name is Cecily. I'm a third year psychology student at the University of California, Berkeley. This timeline is part of a project I've been working on for my big history class. Let me take you on a brief tour. The Japanese-American internment took place during World War II in the United States. The story of a married couple, Arthur and Estella Shigo, 
will be used to help understand internment. Up in the middle, you'll see between the icons and the navigation, fast forward, rewind, pause, and play. At any time, you can pause the tour, fast forward the tour, or rewind and investigate on your own. One important note, if you want narration off, you must stop the tour, go back to the beginning, and turn narration off. The reason we have narration on and off is that professors have asked to have this available as they may want to give a different interpretation of the information there. So at any time, narration can be turned on and off and presented like a PowerPoint presentation. So now let's go to the second icon, the search. I want to show you how easy it is to search in ChronoZoom. I'm interested in dinosaurs, so I type dinosaur. Now you will see everywhere dinosaurs have been tagged in ChronoZoom. It will show you if there's a timeline, an exhibit, or an artifact. I am very interested in dinosaur extinction, so I'm going to select that exhibit. You will now see us fly through time to dinosaur extinction 65 million years ago. Under the search and tour icons, you will find a breadcrumb. ChronoZoom tracks your journey into the history of everything through the breadcrumbs. This term comes from the trail of breadcrumbs left by Hansel and Gretel in the popular fairy tale. This will enable you to never be lost inside of ChronoZoom. The last two things I want to show you are in the right hand corner at the very bottom of the screen. First is behind the scenes. Here, you will find how ChronoZoom came into being and a link to CodePlex. This is where you will find tutorials, lesson plans, quick reference guides, documentation, and even the code. We want to have a tool that is great for every student, educator, and researcher. For us to do that, we need your feedback. Help us have a better user interface and prioritize the next sets of features. It's critical for us to hear from you, so please take the survey and vote for the next features of ChronoZoom. This is a simple tutorial to help you get started. Now we hope that you'll have fun flying through time and becoming a time traveler. Thank you.